you know, just when asked to define religion, um, what I like to do in class is something that I've slowly come to discover myself in the novitiate, doing the spiritual exercises, my own struggles to be faithful to my own beliefs and my own struggles to be faithful to prayer and, and so to remain rooted in God and, and not simply to, to speak out of authority or to speak you know, from the platform of my title or something like that. But Cicero thought that the word religion came from re legere, to read again. And that resonates with, I think, an awful lot of what Ignatian spirituality is, this, this desire to discern the traces of God uh, in my own life. That as I, as I read scripture, I have to read between the lines to try to understand what God is saying to me and to us today. As I read the texts of the great theologians of the past, again, still there is this difficult back and forth between my world, our world today, and the thoughts of this theologian from the past. Rereading uh, my own life and rereading the experience of the communities in which I'm involved is a religious task to, to develop the kind of honesty, this bold sort of honesty where I can see the world as it truly is and I can strip myself of the false ideologies that would especially I think in my case, tempt me to sugarcoat reality and say that things are wonderful and the, the life that I live here at the university is typical of the lives of human beings you know, around the world and it, it obviously isn't. So part of religion is this ability to see creation as it truly is, fallen and redeemed and yet in this quite mixed up mess that we are really in and to admit the real suffering uh, that is a part of, of human life and the real sufferings that are, that are interwoven in the lives of real human beings and real human communities. And also then in that reading of reality to find hints and traces of God and to find somehow God present and active uh, in all of this. All of the other ancients disagreed with Cicero and said that no, religion does not come from re legere, it comes from re ligare and it's a binding up of the brokenness of the world and that somehow by us praying, by us asking God, by, by our lamentations and by our supplications uh, we can goad God into uh, giving us the backbone and the strength to bind the world up to right wrongs and to make a more just society and that we can invite God and cajole God into intervening God's self and through grace uh, establishing justice and healing divisions and righting wrongs. Uh, and I think this too is, is fundamental to what religion is. It not only helps us to see the world as it is, but it helps us to dream the world that ought to be. There's a tension between these two, and I think it's a helpful one, it's a creative one. Uh, it's one that I, I live personally, and it's the one that I invite students also to grapple with. And I find that they are quite willing to, to enter into this. Uh, when religion is presented in a way that's fundamentally honest and fundamentally challenging, uh, I think it's also fundamentally inviting.